Hello, and welcome to week 24 of Workout Wednesday for Power BI. This week, we're going to build an isotype chart. That's this thing right here, where we use a small icon that's related to the topic we're depicting and use multiples to show uh, metrics. So the way we're going to do that <clears throat> is to use the Infographic Designer Custom Visual. It's made by Microsoft. It's been out since 2016. It's in the Custom Visual Marketplace. Now you have to sign in to be able to download custom visuals. So if you don't have this one and you don't have an account, you can get a free developer account and that will let you log in and be able to download this. Otherwise, um, you may be able to find the PBI Viz file available and you can always let us know if you have trouble with that. So we're making our infographic designer visual and then a smart narrative visual. And we're going to use data from the Nobel Prize data set again. So I'm going to get data, go to web, and put in the URL that's provided with the exercise information in the requirements. So this expanded everything out about the laureates for me, but I need to find this Nobel Prize information and then I would like to keep award year and category and full name. The rest of them are not relevant for the visuals I'm trying to make. And I really only need English. So now we have that. So I can take those three, and this isn't part of the requirements, but there's a whole lot of columns I don't need. So just as a best practice, I try to trim it down to what goes in the visual and then anything else or in the report and anything else that I might need for troubleshooting that type of thing. So I can skip a whole lot of this, but I need gender. And I got Laureate ID and name. And I think that should do it. Yep, the rest of this is good info, but not going in my report. And at the very end, there's a bunch of um, like metadata stuff that I also don't want. So now that I've got those selected, I'm going to remove other columns, and that will give me the prize the year, the laureate ID, the name, and the gender, and that should be enough. I'm going to give these some better um, titles for the columns. just to make it a little more friendly and name this laureates. And then I can close, close and apply. And now that that's loaded, I need to get my custom visual. And it's this right here, infographic designer.
So I'm going to go ahead and place that on the page and I'll just build it right there. And the first thing I need to do is populate my field. So I'm going to put category and then I'm going to make a couple measures to help me out with this. So the first one is going to be laureates and it's just going to be a distinct count of the laureate ID. Some people have won twice or won in different categories. So that's why I'm doing distinct count here. And then I need a measure for women equals calculate laureates. Laureate gender equals oops, female. I'm going to do one more measure that is percent women, and that's going to be divide women over laureates. And just make sure that shows as a percent. And those are whole numbers. All right. So we'll put those in measures. And this visual is a little special in that you don't really format it over here in the formatting pane. You format most of it by clicking the edit icon. But first, I'm going to change this to a bar. And I'm going to turn off the legend because the legend that it creates is not very useful for our purpose today. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the title and make my own title. And I'm leaving the tooltip on for default. And I'll change this to Arial, and that should be good. Now, I just have a bar chart, which is not super exciting. But this visual, I'm going to make it pretty big here, lets me do some other things. First, I'm going to change the shape. And I happen to know that there's a little prize shape there, and it starts out really weird because we need to turn on multiple units. And then we're going to switch unit count by um, amount and row and change our amount per unit to 10. So this is 10 laureates. If we count these, for instance, there are 86 laureates for economics, we can count essentially uh, nine, well, eight and a half ribbons. So that's how this works. Then we want to do the percentage fill. And so that's our percent of the max value. But we need to give it the max for that to work. And then we're going to turn on our value color. And I'm going to make the non-value color be gray because we're focusing on the value color. And then we've got partial items on. So where this is 86, we have 60% of a, of a prize. We don't need our unit background. Uh, keep ratio should be on. OK, 
compact units can stay off. And then our fill direction is auto, or we could set it left to right, which is the default in this case. So that gets us most of our chart. And then I can just close this. Um, the one thing I do need to do is turn off grid lines because those are a little too much there. And then I'm going to insert a text box for my title. And I'll say Women Nobel Laureates. And format that a bit. But I'm going to make this match the color in my chart. And then I'm just putting some information about how to read the chart below it so that people know, you know, each icon represents 10 people and the gray is for male or people whose gender is not available in the data and the red is female. Our Last thing is to create a new text box and use the smart narrative feature. So I just wanted to provide extra information and I'm going to just put in here the first woman to win was Marie Curie. And then I'm going to say out of So out of my total laureates, only new value, 57 women. have been awarded the prize to date some of them multiple times. And then just a note so that people understand, there are, oh, I'm going to make one more measure here. Calculate laureates gender equals, and it's actually just a blank. So then if I add another value, I can choose my measure, unknown gender. There are 25 Nobel Prize recipients whose gender is unknown or not listed in the data. So I need to make this look a little more uniform here, make everything the same size. One thing I noticed here is that this was giving me 962 instead of 955. And so to work around that, I'm just going to change the name of my measure and then go back here 
and when I type it in, it finds it and it's happy. So if you run into that, that's the secret. There are too many things named Laureate and it's not finding our measure. I tend to not like um, plain white backgrounds. So I try to make it at least a little off-white. And then make sure my backgrounds are all off so they don't clash. And there we go. So now I have my chart and my smart narrative. And when I hover over a category, I get the total number of laureates, women, and then the percentage. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this workout Wednesday. My name is Megan Longoria. Thanks for watching.